Hey folks, Todd Colburn here with your Aerospace Structures series. Today we're going to look at fasteners and we're going to focus on the metric standard bolts. This is going to be very similar to what we saw for UN standard bolts. So you're going to want to study that lecture first because we're only going to cover here what's different. Okay, so when we have the call out for a metric standard bolt, uh, we're going to see the M, an M first in the call out. This particular bolt shows it's an M12 fastener. That means it's metric standard and it's to a 12 millimeter shank diameter. Then the metric call out gives the pitch instead of the threads per inch. So this is 1.75 millimeters per thread. It's made to an ISO standard. The material class is similar to our grade that we saw for UN bolts and this is a 4.8 bolt and it also is a hex head. So once again we'll see this, uh, what we'll see most commonly will be the M12-1.75 metric diameter by the uh, pitch. Okay. With that said, we're going to get all the same information is important, but this time instead of having the threads per inch and converting to pitch, we'll have the pitch and convert to threads per inch. Everything else is the same. It's a, uh, typically a right hand uh, orient orientation for threading the bolt. The lead once again is just the pitch for a single threaded bolt. And everything we learned about two threaded bolts and more is applies. Looking closer at the threads and taking a cross section, once again, we're going to be looking for the tension area. And I'm going to use Shigley's table from his uh, machine design text where we have the diameter listed in millimeters. And then we see what the pitch is for the different, for the different coarse thread bolts and for fine thread bolts what the pitches are. We see the tension area and as a reference for each of those and then as a reference we also see what the minor the area of the minor diameter is but we're not going to use that. Okay? So these this information is analogous to everything we saw for UN bolts but this is for the metric bolt. Okay? Now when we're looking for the strength of these metric bolts we're going to go to a table that has the uh, property class. This is, uh, once again, a table out of Shigley's machine design text. And you see what diameters it applies to and what the strengths are. This minimum proof strength, that's what we're calling F sub P. The minimum tensile strength, that is FTU. And the minimum yield strength, that is FTY. As you can see here to the right, the head marking can tell you precisely what strength bolt you have. That really is everything about metric bolts that's different. Everything that we learned from UN bolts applies, but now we have a different call out, a different table of properties, and a different table of strengths. Everything else is handled the same. Be fruitful and prosper.